the Urban Homestead. It is Monday, February the uh, 16th, 2015, and I wanted to give a short talk, not about apple trees, but about uh, a book that I have been working on actually for several years. I've chosen this day because several years ago I was at an auction house here in Bristol, and I got a box lot of books, bought a box lot, and in this box lot, there was an old farm time book that belonged to a fellow by the name of Mr. Guido Kegley. Mr. Kegley lived up in Withville, Virginia, and he had a uh, hillside farm about four miles southwest of the town. And uh, on this day, 100 years ago, uh, in 1915, Mr. Kegley uh, wrote of his... Uh, his tenant farmer's chores for the day, Mr. Dave Sexton was the tenant. He said, by one day pulling stumps in Rachel Field. And that's the first uh, mention of Rachel Field. And uh, it was common for folks to name their fields in those days. They, Mr. Kegley had the back field, the, uh, uh, the barn field, and Stroop Field. And uh, it, the previous entry here, it says that... Uh, that Mr. Sexton was cutting apple trees and uh, moving fence. And I assume that this was in Rachel Field because he's cutting apple trees and the next day he's, he is, um, he's uh, pulling stumps. And so uh, they were cutting apple trees and we plant at apple trees, so we're a little bit at odds with them. And as you continue through here, then this man, Dave Sexton, spent uh, three more days here pulling stumps in Rachel Field. These were... 10 hour days. Well, the title of my book is The Cultivation of Rachel Field. It is part memoir, it is part uh, meditation, and it is part scrapbook. I have uh, collected different articles that I have written through the years. And uh, we're in the process of posting this to Amazon and making it available as a, uh, a Kindle ebook. I have not done that before, and so it may be that like Mr. Sexton, we'll be having to pull some stumps this week to get that, to go through that process. I don't know how hard it will be, but we hope to have that up by the end of the week. We actually have a, a website devoted to the book itself. The uh, web address is www.littlefoxpress. We hope that you'll check that out. If I have your email address, I'll be sending around an email with a link to the site. And so it is uh, Tim Hensley. Our Apple website is www.oldvaapples.com.